Hey, a pleasure and good day, everybody. This is Sports and News. I'm Joe Borgen. This is going to be a reaction to Team USA women's play in the tournament this far. Heading into the gold medal game is the only loss is against their opponent in the gold medal game, Team Canada. As to start, they beat the bronze medal team, Finland, 5-2 to two in the tournament. Then after that, they took down ROC, who was a very competitive team in the tournament. Five, to, well, a competitive team, five to nothing. Not very competitive. They were actually they only won one game. They were just solid, but they were a competitive team. Uh, they took them down in that game, and then uh, when it came to Canada, of course, as I already have mentioned, they lost that game, but then bounced back to beat a Czech Republic team that was very impressive in their first tournament. So it was nice to see that. And then they beat Finland, who was the bronze medal team, again in order to advance to the gold medal game in a good competitive game there. As, of course, Team Canada beat Switzerland, who lost to Finland in the bronze medal game after beating Finland in the prelims. So that's how that all shaked out. But for Team USA, they're playing absolutely swimmingly uh, coming in, uh, no matter who is in net between Cavallini and Rooney. I would think it would be Cavallini because she's been so good, but both have been Im immensely great. Uh, Steckline, Barnes, Brandt, obviously. Uh, Schofield's amazing. Hillary Knight's amazing. Keller, Harmon, uh, Amanda Kessel. Um, there's also Confer's sister in here, JT Confer's sister, Jesse Confer. So USA, just like Canada, as I just posted a video on Team Canada leading into how good they've been playing, leading into the gold medal game, check that out if you want to check it out on the Women Olympic Hockey playlist. But they're both stacked teams. Uh, from people that know the game more than me because I'm new to women's hockey, I've, I've been following a lot of articles and following a lot of different people talking um, about the game. It seems like the preliminary action and the way the games went there is more of a good read for how good the competition will be, but based off of who's won, history doesn't serve as that team a high percentage of times going to win again, uh, as we already saw that when it came to the bronze game, as, of course, Switzerland beat Finland in the preliminaries, but then Finland beat Switzerland to win the bronze medal. So I think Hillary Knight, I think Dunn, I think um, Steckline, Barnes, Brand, obviously Kendall Coyne, Schofield, Jesse Confer, I think all of them are going to continue to have to match because Sarah Fillier and, obviously, Poulin and everybody else on Team Canada are coming uh, Des Bynes and Net, and they're not going to stop um, at all because this is going to be a battle to the end. I think it's going to be a very close game to the end. I said in Team Canada's video because they haven't lost and they've been routing teams. They've been this like triumphantly like Game of Thrones level attack offense where U.S. is a little behind that. I would say they just have to be the favorites going in. But again, I think it's going to be a great battle to the end. All in all, though, the woman no matter what, when it comes to Canada and USA, have major bragging rights because the Americans and the Canadians for the men's uh, did, lost before they could even get to the semifinals, both in the quarterfinals, Canada, Sweden, and the men, um, U.S. team to Slovakia, and one of the best guys, potentially the best guy in the draft, Jurov Slavkovsky's team on the men's side. But this has been a reaction to Team USA having stellar play going into the gold medal game. Everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Please can you subscribe down below to help us grow to 200 by the end of February or up above on the easy-to-use widget. Stay safe out there, everybody, and enjoy the hockey.